Well, I've never seen one of these like this before. surprising what turns up you know it's something I've said numerous times in videos on this channel and no doubt I'll be saying it again and that's part of the fun and the part of the enjoyment of coming out whether it's to video like I am today or whether I'm purposely looking for something quite often a day or a visit to a site can take a different turn an entirely different slant and my mission this morning was actually to record Dalika Triquitrella I expected both Dalika Triquitrella which is here and Dalika Lycanella which is also here at Warsop Cemetery to be out I thought the females would be out but no sign and that's unusual but give it another week especially if this mild weather continues but it was while looking and checking to see whether any of the females had emerged of those two moths that I found this. At first, and my initial reaction was, well, that's the strangest coloured harlequin ladybird that I've ever seen. And then I looked, and I looked at the pronotum, the back of the head, I thought, well, that's not marked in the manner of Harlequin Ladybird. The coloration is something entirely different. And I realised by the markings on the pronotum that what I was actually looking at was a cream street ladybird. But I have never seen one this sort of khaki colour, this a rather strange olive creamy colour but quite beautiful in fact the colour is reminiscent to the 16 spot ladybird that's the nearest I can liken it to and as you can see this one was now after initially walking around on the trunk of this pine eventually settled down and it is quite a beautiful thing but I'm taken aback by the colour. Now, Dillis and I, many years ago, we reared this species from lava because I wanted to photograph Cream Street ladybirds and the various instars of the larval stage and then the pupa. And when Cream Street ladybirds emerge from that pupa, they are quite reminiscent of this colour, perhaps a bit more olive than this one. But obviously, the adults over winter, they took themselves away in the bark crevices but can also occasionally be found at the ends of growths of young pines tucked in with seven spot ladybirds. So quite a beautiful thing and quite unique. I have never seen a, what you would call mature or elderly example of Cream Street ladybird having this coloration at all apart from as I mentioned when they first come out and start to gain the spots out of the pupil stage all ladybirds when they first emerge are totally almost colorless or at very best a pale yellowish color and there's no spots the spots develop as the elytra hardens off it takes a few hours but eventually by the end of the first 24 hour period you have a properly coloured marked ladybird of whatever species so one of those visits to video something and then i end up videoing something totally different but something i've never seen before 